And good morning, everybody, and happy 4th of July here from Seward, Alaska. We can certainly say this wasn't part of the plan, but sometimes you got to roll with it. I'm Dave Goldman, along with Clint McCool here on KTVA. We uh, had intended to be at this point, at this very moment, but intended to see a bunch of kids running up the street and headed up the mountain. That is not the case on this 4th of July. It is a most unusual 4th here. The weather's terrific, but the conditions are not. And unfortunately, if you're just joining in and finding out, the juniors race has been called off due to smoke. Of course, if you're watching us the last couple of days, you know it's been a question mark. Swan Lake's fire, the smoke has been drifting over here. The air particles are just way too high. They were looking for a number of 100 this morning, and it's at 187 as of 846 this morning. This guy's done this race and knows this mountain as well as anybody. He's finished it 17 times, and oh, a few hundred times he's been up and down there, knows every rock and route there. We would have liked to have been seeing you talk about these kids making it up there, but first things first, you got to make sure about health and safety, and you got kids as young as seven years old to be up, going up and down this mountain, and you can't have little ones taking in those smoke. Yeah, it's, it's an unfortunate reality and part of mountain racing. You just never know what the conditions are going to throw at you. And this is an unprecedented event in mountain marathon history. We've never had to do a, a last second closure like this. And it's, it's unfortunate for the, for the juniors, that, that especially some of those that have trained really, really hard for this race. And this is the highlight of their summer. However, we have to understand that there's a safety concern and the, the committee made the best decision they thought they could make uh, regarding the health of these kids. As Dave said, some of them are as young as seven years old um, and maybe they can't make that decision for themselves. But the adult races are going on um, and we'll, I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting day. Again, it's just a little disappointing for some people. There were a couple of individuals in particular that were really gunning for this race. Uh, Mikey Connolly had a shot at the record um, and Kendall Kramer was back for the girls as well and she's had a spectacular year. So. I, my heart goes out to them. I know they're disappointed because I know them personally. Um, however, as we said, you know, the committee has to be concerned about safety conditions for these junior racers. And that's just the reality today. And in speaking to many of the committee members throughout the week here, they're Seward residents, they're connected to this race, they're runners themselves, they're avid, they want to see this thing happen. But health first. Remember, Nobody is paying their mortgage by winning this race, even in the men's and women's division. And for the kids here, it's a disappointment, but you've got to take care of health first. Lauren Maxwell was supposed to be talking to the winners at the finish line. Instead, she is talking to kids who are thinking about winning this race, and maybe one day they will. Lauren Maxwell, let's send it over to you. Right. In fact, we're actually talking to uh, Albie Tatum, who is here, and she is an EMT with the Seward Volunteer Ambulance Corps. She's also a nurse here in Seward. And we wanted to get a little bit of a perspective on really why it is important that the kids are not running right now and that the portion of the juniors race has been canceled. So, Albie, uh, thank you for being with us. And my question to you, first of all, is did they make the right call, at least for the juniors? I think they did. Um, kids are much more susceptible to respiratory problems in air quality such as this. So um, while disappointing, and I'm sure the kids are disappointed, it's a good call. Tell me some of the complications that can happen, especially with developing lungs, lungs rather. What are the things we need to keep in mind? So kids, even if they're strong and healthy, they always have um, a more increased susceptibility to um, having respiratory issues. Um, and they get into trouble really fast, whereas adults can compensate a lot better and um, can maybe recognize the symptoms. Kids usually um, don't recognize the symptoms and then suddenly kind of um, crash, as we say. And so it's, it's uh, definitely concerning even for young, healthy lungs, but um, especially for kids who might have a history of asthma or heart problems or anything like that. Even if it's mild, in conditions such as this, it can be very, very, very critical. And you talk about conditions such as this, it's not just a little bit over the limit with the particulates. It's actually very, very high. Is that right? Yes, it's um, a lot higher. Their their level was at 100 was the cutoff. It needed to be 100 or below. And last I heard, it was at 180. So it's definitely a lot higher in the, in the particulate matter than... Um, and it's going to be very dusty and very hot, so it's going to be. We're going to have some challenging conditions today. Right, and uh, of course the adult race is still on today. Mm -hmm. Any words of advice for people? What are some of the symptoms that you should be on the lookout for if you plan to go up that mountain, or even if you're just here as a spectator today? Right. Well, it's going to be hot, so everybody needs to stay hydrated and water, water, water. Um, and then you know any sort of 
coughing or difficulty breathing or any of that stuff. If you can wear a mask, an N95 um, mask will filter out a lot of the particulates, but um, just being very, very careful. If you have any history of asthma or have an inhaler but have, haven't used it in years, you should have it with you at all times because it's going to be, especially if you're racing and running. Okay, just just be careful and listen to your body, it sounds exactly. like. Yep. A- any other tips you can think of that are important? Just uh, stay hydrated and have fun and ha- stay out of the sun if you can. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Albie. Yeah. We're going to take it back to you. Okay, Lauren, thank you very much, and we'll speak to you uh, at the women's race and the men's race. And again, as Lauren said, to reiterate, the juniors race called off, if you're just joining us here on KTVA's Facebook page, here at Mount Marathon 2019, an unusual, unprecedented day here. Although it looks great outside and you can see the gorgeous pictures and hear the uh, terrific audio from our great crew up and down the mountain, the juniors race called off due to the smoke particles. It is really way unhealthy. It's more like a, a city today. You know, we think of Alaska as, a, as way out there and terrific air quality. We're more like the big city. We're lo- more like Manhattan today than we are Seward, Alaska. But that, of course, coming from the Swan Lake fire. Also, you must be thinking, well, why are, the, why are the kids on the mountain right now? Well, they made the announcement at 826 officially that the race had been called for the juniors. They are permitted to go up for, let's call it, a Thursday morning, July 4th stroll. There's no one up there with water, nothing like that. It's more just go up there and have a walk and, and enjoy it. So about, I'd say, what, about 100 kids, oh, about 10 minutes ago, just before we came on the air, took off and said, let's go for it. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's actually going to race um, yeah. officially, but uh, you know these people, these kids have built up to this all summer, and even if it's unofficial, they still want to go get up there. And actually, the temperature right now is great. Uh, later in the day, we do expect it to get quite warm for the adults, but I'd say it's only 63, 64 degrees right now. Very comfortable temperature, and the kids are being kids. Um, the race committee can't allow them to race officially, and, and we understand that concern. But if I was one of them, I'd be up on the mountain right now, too. You could duck and give it a go there, and, you know, we'll give <laughs> yeah, you a hat. I'll be give right it, back. Give it a hug. Give it a, <laughs> this guy, and this guy knows the route, let me tell you, folks. So, again, if you're just joining us here, the juniors race called this morning. Again, this is something that was coming. We knew it was a possibility. We were talking about it last night in the last couple of days. They had given a deferral option for other racers if they were uncomfortable, whether it's the men's, women's, or juniors division, and a handful of those have taken that because they're simply not comfortable with the smoke. Kendall Kramer, for instance, is a perfect example. Right. Last year's junior women's win, junior girls uh, victor uh, at West Valley, terrific cross-country runner. Terrific skier on the national scene now. Yeah. She knew she was going to run with a mask today if the race had run. She said, I'm not going to break a record. I know that. And a lot of these runners at that level are always thinking PR. She said, but just to be out there. Yeah. So this gives her and a lot of those other kids who were concerned about it the simple out of not having to go up there but take part of it. And then you've got the others who are really concerned about this and saying, you know what? You can run next year. If you're wondering, the race this year, anyone who was set and registered to race as a junior this year, is eligible right in for next year. You're automatically kicked over. So if you didn't make this flight, boom, you'll be on the next one. And next year, we hope to see all of these kids back out here in good weather. Absolutely. I mean, I got to tell you from history, if they were for some reason to cancel the adults race, you'd see every one of those top runners at the start line with their own watches saying three, two, one, go. It actually has happened in the past. We had a mountain race canceled and the guys all showed up and we raced each other just because we we were trained for it and we weren't going to say no. But in the case of the juniors, I mean, you do have to be understanding that the committee's making the best decision they think they can make. Again, remember, uh, some of the juniors here are as young as seven years old. And think back when you were seven years old. You got your eye on the prize. I'm going for the prize. Well, in this case, the mountain may look good today, and it does. Great pictures. But if you see that haze, there's a reason for that haze. It's not just a haze and a fog. It's that smoke which has been coming over from uh, Swan Lake's fire for quite some time. So the committee knew that there was a great possibility, and it seemed to ramp up as the day went on late yesterday. Yeah. Around 5, 6 o'clock last night, it looked pretty good. And then we were in for our 10 o'clock hit here, and it had that haze, and we thought, uh-oh, we came out this morning around 5, and all you had to do was take one deep breath, and you thought, this doesn't sound, it doesn't smell good. Yeah. And then we found out at uh, 7 this morning, the particle number was at 171, you needed at 100, 
And uh, at 181, they finally called it somewhere in the 8 o'clock hour. And at 826, yeah. they announced that it was at 187. So it is rising. Let's hope it goes down. The women's race goes at 11 and the men's race at 2 today. Let's talk about the other two races then and how this smoke, which is still here, could affect it and the heat, which we still have to think about as well. Absolutely. The heat's going to be an issue later in the day. Who knows about the smoke? I was here yesterday, and it seemed to change by the hour. Mm -hmm. um, in the races, though, it's, it's still going to be an exciting day as far as the races go. Um, the men's race, we've got a couple of top contenders. We have a pro coming in from out of state that is on fire right now. And he's, uh, Max King is just, he, he didn't come up here to get second place again. Uh, so that's something I'm really interested to watch. I want to see what he can do. Uh, the women's race is kind of a, a wide open at this point because a couple of the top contenders said that they will not decide whether they're racing or not until right before the race mm -hmm. because again ladies and gentlemen the conditions have been changing hour to hour that number that we've been talking about for the particulate matter in the air has literally been changing you know almost minute to minute mm -hmm. and i was here yesterday uh, well, as dave said and there were parts of the day where it seemed not an issue at all and then a, a few hours later it was an issue um, so we'll, we'll wait and see, but I still think we've got two very exciting races ahead of us, and um, there's a lot of uh, top racers here that have already declared that they're, they're going for it. They don't care. Um, I guess that's a prerogative of an, of an adult. They get to make that decision for themselves. Indeed. So a little Hollywood drama here this morning, not the script that we had hoped for. Perhaps we'll get a little more drama on the positive side with the two races, the women at 11 and the men at 2, and of course you can watch them right here on uh, KTVA.com, on our Facebook page, and, of course, on KTVA Channel 907 if you're tuning us in Alaska as well, and KTVA Channel 11. So that's it for now. For Clint and the entire crew, I'm Dave Goldman. We'll see you again in a couple of hours with the ladies who will be taking off from Mount Marathon. Until then, have a good morning and happy 4th. Happy 4th.